Good morning guys, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today, we're headed to the neighbor's house because we are checking the transmission fluid on the Corvette and I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing first, you're gonna wanna be safe about this <laughs> because the car needs to be turned on and running and at operating temperatures. So ours is running, let's roll that intro. You sure? about doing this is we have to jack the car up and get it on stands he will be yes he ran into the house to get the keys so we've got our jack stands we're about to go get some extras to put on the back side but we're gonna get this front side jacked up first and setting up and get it under some stands all right now we have the car safely jacked up and we noticed that we have a coolant leak too so mama is working on getting that off well we now have the back jacked up. I have some very sad news. That is our transmission fluid. As soon as I jacked the front up, it all started leaking out. So clearly something under here is very, very bad. Very wrong. And I don't know, I see the leak now. It's right at the front of the transmission and the torque tube. Oh man, it's hard to say. I'm guessing a seal probably. But knowing that I have driven on it, it there's real likelihood is that the transmission's bad. It needs rebuilt. So at this point, I'm just going to show you guys how to check the fluid and verify that it is good. Mine clearly has a lot more going on, and that's okay. So let's get under there and I'll show you. On the driver's side of the transmission, whoo, man, it smells good. The transmission's fluid. I think it smells good. It smells nice and clean right there. I hope you guys can see it. Let me get my finger and point to it right there. Camera. That is the plug. And I'll tell you what socket you need in just a second. I, can't, I mean wrench, sorry, use a wrench. I wouldn't use a socket for this job. You're gonna need a 1316 to put on there. And it's kind of hard to get over here, so let me no. let me show you guys. What I'm gonna do is put mine on right here like that, and I'm gonna hit it with a hammer because this thing is on there tight. Man, it's tight. That's a good thing, I think. So I'm gonna try and set you guys down here, get you a good view, and get that hammer. Thank you, dear. I don't know how I'm gonna. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now it's broke free. Took a little bit of hammering on the wrench to get her free. But um, what you guys should see, once you get this bolt, the strain plug out, up here be careful, the exhaust is gonna be hot because your car should be running. Ours is not because, well, we definitely have a bigger issue here at hand, as well as the issue of a coolant leak. We need a radiator because ours is cracked. So when you get this out, you should have fluid dripping from right there and it should be a nice steady drip. And that is how you're gonna know that it's full. If it's not, you, you're gonna wanna get a pump and put your hose in here and, um, pump in fresh fluid until it starts draining out and when it's the nice steady drip from right here you're gonna put the plug back in seal her up 
and that will be a job well done so that is how you check the fluid on a 1997 to 2004 chevy corvette i know it's a funny view to look at me but you guys can see i'm just tightening that bolt in while inspecting my leak which happens to be right oh sorry i think that got you guys <laughs> right there at the torque tube where the torque tube and the transmission meet you can see that is a healthy healthy amount of transmission fluid so that's where all our fluid is at <laughs> oh man <sighs> let's uh let me let me finish up under here and we'll, we'll come back in hello guys it is nighttime it's dark we got miss av parked back over here in her spot and she's just gonna sit there until uh well honestly until we can actually buy a radiator figure out how to get the transmission fixed whether that's to repair it i mean rebuild it replace it or a manual swap and like i said eventually my goal is to just manual swap this thing because we're not going to be racing this thing anymore man this thing it just we need to just make it as pristine as we can and make it our show car because that's what i miss that's what i miss so much this car used to be reliable i could take this thing anywhere i mean Shoot, I took it on a 2,000 mile trip to Florida and back, and it did outstanding, except for the one time when it overheated because we were stuck in like three hour of, um, what was it called? When the road's really busy, uh, traffic jam. Ah, I got it, I knew it, I knew it hit me. I knew I'd think of it soon enough. So, you know, that was the only, only real trouble we've ever had with it. Um, man. I'm just, I'm really, to be honest, a little heartbroken, a little disappointed, but hey, you know what? It's just a car. It's going to end up being great content one of these days, and it might be five years down the road, but that is the goal because you know what's bet what would be super exciting? Let me get a light on in here real quick. What would be super duper exciting is if we had a project car that as a family we could all work on and guess what guess what i think it's happening right before our eyes i think the corvette is it i think that's the project car that the kids can grow up knowing that man we always worked on that thing but one day we got it running and it ran really good and we just stayed on top of things and it, it did amazing and it's still running today and they might be in their 30s when they say that but i think that might be the car that'd be super cool because growing up, I would have loved to have like that one car that was always worked on. And, you know, it just it really wasn't a thing. So, man, if I could get some more classics, though, hmm, I need a four-seater. Let me know. Just kidding. Just kidding. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Head over to the Arctic Vet family YouTube channel and subscribe there as well because we appreciate you guys. We love each and every one of you. I hope that you have a blessed week. Thank you, Jesus. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great night and God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got a fix of you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He can't